what's poppin' chat? Let's get everybody. Uh hope all you had a great Wednesday. Um you know, just just gonna play a little bit of Pokemon tonight. I was trying to trying to get it done by eight o'clock. We'll see if that happens now. My plan is to go ahead and finish these last three finals. So I gotta finish this class up real quick. So that's what you know. I figured I'd just give a little a little breakdown of what I've gotta do while I uh you know while I get through this class. We take the last few finals and then we uh go beat the last gem. It's really my game plan for tonight. And so. My thought is I really want to, uh, I really want to get a, uh, get the last gym badge because I think I'm over leveled for this, this gym. Cause I think it was meant to be a bit earlier than I did battle it. So, but I know with these upcoming battles, I saw somewhere, I don't know if it's true. Cause I'd read one, one place that it was like the. The uh, champions Pokemon were like 60 to 62, but then I saw somewhere that they were like 65. So I think I've decided I want to level up my Pokemon to 65 without using any of the candies or anything. So I found... Wait, why is it... I just realized my, my audio isn't working for the Switch. Um, is that it? Wait, I still don't hear it. See, it seems to be coming through. There it is. Okay. There we go. So, um, my game plan is to go ahead and beat this gym, and then when I prepare for all these final battles in Elite Four and everything, I found a way to uh, grind levels pretty easily. Um, I thought actually it would be even easier, but come to find out, um, it's not. But the method is you go up right where the, the Fairy Team Star base was, and if you make a sandwich, a specific one, uh, you can force just normal encounters, or mostly normal encounters. And when you do that, the only normal Pokemon in that area are Chansey. So Chansey spawned like crazy. I tested it last night, and it works. And I tested it because I was really hoping that I could get um, some lucky eggs i could farm some lucky eggs and come to find out um lucky eggs aren't available in this game that way you can only get one lucky egg so unfortunately it uh it it did not work for me that way so i'm uh gonna have to just grind it the, the normal way but luckily the uh luckily it's not hard to grind you don't it doesn't take long. You you level up a lot, grinding chance. I think you get like two to three thousand on your Pokemon you knock it out with. So it'll the grind will be relatively quick. So that's kind of my plan is to I'm gonna stream tonight and finish these last few exams, get all the candies and everything, and then go beat the final gym. And then tonight while I'm editing and uh what's popping cat? But uh <laughs> but um while I am like editing and stuff and on Friday when I'm I got a bunch of stuff I want to do around the house and with my computer and stuff like that and so while I do that stuff I'm going to go ahead and grind the Pokemon all get all my whole team up to level 65 and then this weekend I'm gonna go beat the Elite Four I, I plan to beat the game this weekend I, I won't beat all the post game stuff more than likely but I'll definitely try and go do it but um but, you know, I figured I want to beat the game because I do plan on playing uh, Hogwarts uh, Legacy this when it comes out next Tuesday in a week. And so I, um, highest level of oh, 50 and then true. But uh, I do plan on playing that when it comes out, the day it comes out and stuff. And I'd like to have beat this game, at least the main story of this game, when that game comes out because... Once I beat the main game of this, you know, I may do post post game stuff. I may stream it, but also I may not. It just kind of depends. Kind of depends on you know how I'm feeling about it, you know, and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, but but Hogwarts Legacy is gonna be my big thing I'm playing, and I'm really excited for that. And I really wanna focus on that, and not be worried about trying to stream that and this and edit that and edit this, you know. So it, that's kind of my game plan. 
So I really want to beat the game. And also, this game's been out like nearly two months now, I think. So I have kind of stretched. Actually, wait. No, end of November, December. Over two months. Yeah, the game's been out over two months. And I have yet to beat it. So, um... Needless to say, yeah, I really want to go ahead and beat it. I've been uh, been putting it off for too long. Uh, two, Lavencia, and False. And then we got the Home Ec final left. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, chat. You know, um... So, the, the plan is to beat the game tonight. Or not tonight, this weekend. But, you know, go beat the final gym tonight. And then that'll probably be about it for Pokemon. Because I told some of the guys to get on uh, Warzone. And I was planning on around 8. But, at this rate, um... That's not looking very likely. <laughs> so... Just trying to get it done, you know. Basically as soon as possible. So I can get to work on that. Let's do that home ec final, and then we're done with classes, I believe, unless they break some new class out once I beat the last gym. But I highly doubt that. So, this should be it. This should be the last final. Okay. Let's see. Home ec. Sparkling power. Helps hatch strong Pokemon. Make food with others. Pokemon wash. And it doesn't matter. Perfect. Aced all my exams. I'm a genius. They said they were open book, right? I sure treated them as such. Had my notes right there. You know, I should have done this more as, as you know, the, I progressed in the game, but, you know, they just kind of, they kind of said, oh, yeah, like, there was a, there was a few, like, passing things. Let me pass, pass all your, you know, I have this for you from Dr. Clavel. Heck yes. All your efforts on this just treasure hunt. See, and that's, that's all I needed, but, you know, they were like, they never made a big deal out of it, you know? Oh, yeah, come back and finish and whatever. And then there's, like, two teachers that you run into. They're like, oh, yeah, don't don't neglect your classes. But besides that, there was really nothing. So, what I'm going to do here. Um, have... So, I was worried, and I don't... I think I was worried for no reason. But, like, in... In, uh... What's it called? Sword and Shield... There's a guy that you can go to and you can sell rare items to. And so because of that, I try and keep all the rare items on me. Like at least one of each because I didn't know if there was a guy like that in this game. I looked it up. I don't think there is. So since I don't think there is, I'm just going to go ahead and sell all my rare, like the one of every rare item I have. And I've been trying to just come to the, come to the, uh, uh, the market and do the auctions. That's right behind me because, you know, you can get some, some good stuff. Last night, actually, I think I got the best deal I've gotten. You know, I just come here, see what they have, and do stuff like that. And let me show you all what I got. So, uh, my favorite item, the Premier Ball. I got 75 of them for, I think, just under 7,000. Which I know may seem like a lot. But... If you think about it, the cheapest you can get them for is, what, $2,000? Because you technically have to spend $2,000. Quick ball, repeat ball, luxury ball, and then premier ball, and then ultra ball. We'll do that. But technically speaking, you have to spend $2,000 to get a single one. Because the, the cheapest Pokeball you can get, that's a ditto. That's a ditto. Y'all want to bet, chat? <laughs> Got it. Y'all want to know how I knew that? I actually saw a video of someone catching a ditto that was a Cyclozar. And all the Cyclozars were riding around like they do, and there was the one walking. And the guy was like, why is this Cyclozar just walking around? 
sure enough, it was a Ditto. Because they'll look like the Pokemon, but they won't act like them. So, a little, little bit of... A little bit of knowledge there for you, in case you didn't know and you're still trying to find a Ditto, which I'm sure there's practically nobody left that's still trying to find Dittos. Wait, hold up. Okay, no, I saw that wrong. Yeah, I saw that wrong. I need to find a Shinx still. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, all four auctions going on. This is the first time in a while I've seen all four going. Let's see what we got. Dusk Balls. PP Maxes. Ooh. Oh, wait, never mind. There wasn't. A King Drop. Let me go look at the PP Maxes because... Yeah. I mean, this thing's gonna, gonna go up like crazy. Let's see how much they wanna they wanna run it for. I don't know why I started off going the highest. I normally try and go the lowest and just try and wait them out. I don't really want to go over like 20, but a PP max would be clutch. Can y'all quit? Can y'all quit? Okay, I'm going 25 at my highest, so. I'm a bit worried where this one's going. Where? <laughs> you know. Go look. Can y'all stop? Get out of here. These people just love running up the prices on stuff. Okay, well, she's probably going to back out now, hopefully. Never mind. She's trying to run this thing up. Yeah. Give me that PP Max. I went well over what I said I wanted to, but you know what? Worth it. PP Maxes are legit. Okay. So the Dusk Ball is 10. And Dusk Ball, hold up. Let me see how much. This is also what I like to do. I like to look it up and see how much the Dusk Ball would actually run me. So 10 Dusk Balls would be 1000 so $10,000. So if I can get it for less than 10000 then I'm getting a good deal. Granted, I'm also losing out on a Premier Ball, but I'm kind of set on Premier Balls now. 47 Off the rip? Off the rip. Okay, this will probably be my last bid here. Yep. Yeah, y'all are wasting money now. Wasting money. Let's see how much they, they take this thing up for. You just lost 2200 plus a Premier Ball. Stupid. Okay, well now I have money for the King Drop. Yeah. 3k for a King Drop. I'm just going to run this thing up. 35. I'm going the highest bit every time. Let's see. Let's see how much they want to run me up for. Who just jumped up 15k? I didn't even do 9, but... You can blame this, this dude over here for running that price up. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, get out of here. My king drop. Okay, well, I just blew a lot of money there. But you know what? Worth it. Okay. It's Magius. Yep, we're gonna go do this final gym battle. Let's do it. Okay, so let me pull up my type effectiveness chart. That I always forget... And then I kick myself. So. The ghost. Ghost is hit two times by ghost and dark types. So. I don't really have any 
dark type moves, I don't think. I literally have crunch and that's it. Wait, but isn't ghost sit twice by ground? Oh no, poison is, that's why. Okay. Well, looks like Icy gets the lead here. Which I'm not mad about. I grind to get Icy evolved. It'll be nice to actually oh wait, actually let me let me throw the the lucky egg one twenty one. Might as well, while you know. I need to figure out where to get leftovers. Because leftovers would be nice to have in this game. Ooh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Glad I just picked that up, because, you know, I burned through all my freaking potions last time. Where's the revives? I got 50 revives. Push. We'll get up. We'll get that. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's save. Because I don't know what to expect here. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. One final battle, Nimona, before the gems. I'm sure I'm going to battle you at the end, but... Worried about you. I know you've got this. No, I want to... Oh, dang it, Nimona. I didn't even think about Jareepy. Yeah, she's definitely going to have a Dragon Bolt. That means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right. You're the opening act. Show us some dead fierce Pokemon of us. That's fine. I, I'd rather just do... Just battle some trainers at this point. Let's do it. The concert stage. Alright. Hey, you opening act. I'm from the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're going to have you do some double battles. So you have two Pokemon fight on each side. Nice. I'll let you sledge up double the opponents. Nice. Okay. Bet. As soon as you get up on stage, there'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row. So make sure you're ready three times in a row. Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm up the audience for rhymes. So she's a math teacher and a singer. Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by your challenger here camp. I'm assuming it's going to be double battles with, like, you know, no backups. Makes it look like a breeze. It's a kid. The one, the only Taz. Taz. Is that dude wearing the Rock brand t-shirt? <laughs> Looks like they took the Rock's brand but made it, you know, uh, Pokemon. Okay, so let me just see. Revart is just dark or ghost. They're both just ghosts. Okay. So we're going to hit a crunch on Revart and we're going to hit a shadow claw on Shuppet. Let's just Oko both of them. Just Oko both of them right here. Icy sounds so cool. I mean, it literally sounds like a frozen Godzilla. It is sweet. There we go. One plus one is... It doesn't even know basic math, and I just... Just obliterated this Pokemon. Alright. Let's see what we got next.
I guess just healed my Pokemon, but... Wani. Alright. Haunter and shove it. I mean, not shove it, mischievous. Nice. Easy enough. And I'll take that 22k from those two battles. That's sweet. That stage is awesome. Me. It's none other than me. His eyes just turned evil. I'm I'm assuming he may have four, maybe. Wait, I hope the gym battle is double battle. That would be awesome. Oh, jeez. Drifflin. That's not good. Because that thing's going to have Aftermath. Yeah, that thing's about to have Aftermath. Okay. Yep. Wait, it only affects the one that KO'd it? You'd think Aftermath would, you know... Ooh. What is let's say that's a smooth has a heightened chance of letting a crit. See, I like being able to get that burn, but having a psychic move would be freaking sweet too. Yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta do that. I love how Baxcalibur turns its back to the Pokemon whenever it attacks, but it turns its back and then proceeds to bite it. Doesn't make much sense. $33,000, just like that. Thank you, Amulet, Amulet Coin. So can I just go ahead and battle the, the gym leader now, like not have to go back to, you know. That'd be greatly appreciated. That's what you've all been waiting for. For the MC of RIP. Tell you what I, what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, I'm not going to try and sing. Now I'll get this started for real. So now I have to go back and battle her at the gym. Go some in for some rhyme time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you passed. I mean, oh yeah, I do need to. Because of Aftermath. See, I don't even think I need to heal up, but Aftermath got me. Dang it, that's not what I meant to do. I need to get like Scald on one of my Pokemon or something. I might just cruise through that. But see, those are level 40. Like, like I definitely would have been good if I'd come to battle this when I went and battled the, the last gym. I just, I, I was worried that my Pokemon weren't high, high enough level. To be able to deal with not having much of a advantage, you know, like my Pokemon don't have a, a huge advantage against. Like I've have, I have two moves right now that I can hit super effective. Let's do it. Yup, the MC of RIP. It's kind of cool. It's clever. It's original. 
see. Alright. Yo, yo. Rap battle going on. I I'm gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Dang! Spitting bars. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Oh! Please, you think you can step to my game, fool? I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render. When the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. Boom. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Dang. Rhyme out here just spitting bars. From an extra seriously bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. It gets bored and we're in the crowd if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm. Hey, my opener's back. You have a rap battle or a gym battle? As if I ever even needed to ask. You look like that. You feel me? Sure, I just spam through what you were saying. Alright, let's do it. Lest you forget that the name is Rhyme and I'm known as the MC. See, maybe I'm just misunderstanding but I could have sworn the teacher's name was Ryan too yes double battles is Bayonet dark type is Bayonet dark ghost I know Mimikyu is just straight ghost right Probably a mistake, but dang it. Yeah. I need a crit too. Of course. Well, easy enough. Oh, that's right. Dang it. I forgot about that feature. Yeah, I did. What is that? I'm a Crunch Mimic you again. And then I'm a Shadow Claw Houndstone. Let's hope we KO both this turn. Okay. Another one down. Let's get Mimic you here, please. Nice. Wait, so dark is resisted by dark, yeah, so, oh wait, yeah, so I had him reverse, this is her last one too, an electric type, Type that electric poison ghost type. Hmm. Adorable. So there's really no point in me terrestrializing because 
none of my Pokemon have a have a Terra type that's super effective on this thing. So you know, not really much I could do. I'm too over leveled for this battle. I definitely did these out of order because I mean, I just one shot everything. The only thing I didn't one shot was Mimic you because it had the disguise ability, so I couldn't one shot it. And 15k. There we go. It's my last gym badge. That spirit kid, you earned my gym badge, and how about a VIP pass for my next show too? <laughs> You'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level, and they'll be sure to listen to you. And that was the other reason. I was getting worried that I think the, the level cap for me was 60. So I don't want to try and grind to 65 and then them not listen to me for this battle. Maybe go back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we wrap battle and set. Who knows? We got some scary good adventure set. I'll be cheering for you. Later. Awesome. And with that, we've beat all the gems. We've gotten every badge in the game. We're set. Cam, Excalibur, you did it. Ah, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive game. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym, which means, indeed, now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona's fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take the champion assessment. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. You gotta take the, the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Same! Well, good luck, Game Emerald. Wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though. Perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. A special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesagosa. I ate Yida. I can't believe she didn't have a Dragapult. That's actually kind of crazy. Now that I think about it. Didn't have one. It's a Dragon Ghost. Challenge the Pokemon League. Well, like I said. Oh, why is... That was weird. Okay, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and call it on Pokemon now. I'm going to get on uh, Warzone. So y'all bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and run an ad while I do that. Because I won't have to run an ad at all while I play Warzone. Which will be nice for once. Because I had to run that ad because of the issues I was having. So uh, like I said, y'all bear with me and I will be right back. 